Hey guys, Crypto Mike here with the mic check. One, two, one, two. Is this thing on? Please hit the thumbs up, the subscribe, and the notification bell right down there if you enjoy my content. And also, please help support my channel by downloading the Brave browser. The link is in the description. Now, news today. Uh, <clears throat> This caught my attention. Boston Fed is looking at 30 to 40 blockchain networks for digital dollar experiments. Now, we've been talking about this for a while, um, saying that it's going to be narrowed down. And well, they're looking at these. And my guess is that once regulations come in, um, just all the shit coins, you know, all the ones up in, uh, in the 5,000s and the 4,000s and the 3,000s, 2,000s, they're all going to be just obliterated. All the money from those will go straight to Polkadot, Ethereum, um, XRP, uh, Link, you know, all the liquid coins, these, these truly BNB, all these liquid coins, you know, and that's what's, that's what's getting created right now. Just all this liquidity in, in this market. Um, and we're seeing all these just, it's just crazy, but it's great. All this DeFi, man. Now, what are they? That's what we want to get to, of course. Now, I can't read the whole article for you at the moment because it's very long. It's not that long, but yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Um, and they should tell you how, how many minutes I'll read it is. But um, I think, you know, I have my idea of, of the ones that are going to make it. Now, keep in, keep in mind, MIT, Fed and M MIT. Um, the Boston Fed announced its formal collaboration with the DCI to test a digital dollar last week. However, the relationship between the two entities and their research into digital currencies stretch back years. Now that we're going forward with our research with the digital currency initiative, we decided to get a more formal relationship with them. And let me tell you something about MIT. The creator of Algorand came from MIT. Let's take a look. Now, Algorand is going to be, now this is what they announced. Algorand is gonna be um, running the US dollar stablecoin. Okay, um, what does that mean? Well, that means the US dollar stablecoin is going to be around for forever. Um, I mean, for a while. Now, it was created by Brian Brooks. I want to just, you know, it's just, I keep telling you, he was created by Brian Brooks, guys. Um, Coinbase is making huge moves, huge. And a lot of the other exchanges are too. Uphold, BitTrue. Um, well, I don't know about BitTrue. But, um, and, What's going on is that, you know, Coinbase um, is going to be the, the main exchange. It, I mean, it has to be. That's, that's what I think, you know, for now. Um, I've been using Coinbase Wallet and all sorts of stuff. Now, they're, they're, um, they're going to use Algo for, the, for the, one of the biggest currencies in the world, which is the U.S. dollar coin. Okay, it's going to be, it might even just be our, you know, digital coin or whatever. But Algo is going to back it. What does that mean? Algo is going to shoot up in value like insanely um it's going to allow smart contracts um so and circle these are all now the federal reserve created coin coin desk this website it created circle it, it created ripple it created all the uh coin base um the federal reserve did it they formed the digital currency group which is the one the big one that invested in all these and you know let them thrive um so who is this guy though? And let's take a look. Did I save it? Maybe I didn't save it, but I did do this. Okay, from our founder, Algorand. This guy is the one who's in charge of Algorand. Silvio Macaulay. Now, 
Sylvia McCauley shares efficient smart contracts at scale, Algorand's stateful teal contracts, and what this means for comprehensive smart contract capabilities that enable the creation of DeFi solution and dApps that can scale to billions of users, tens of millions of daily transactions with negligible transaction fees. Perfect. So he works, he used to work at MIT. Oh, yeah. And uh, he was at electrical engineering and computer science department. Um, or yeah, he was at the electrical engineering department and computer science department of MIT. And they created the digital currency initiative. Um, and uh, they've been working on this for a while now. They just announced now they just announced that um, that uh, they're, they're, it's going to be backing the U.S. dollar coin. I mean that's awesome. All right. So, what other th things? What other coins could be used? Let's take a look at this article. Um, Fifty billion dollars in cryptocurrency left China amid escalating trade wars. So that's like a sixth of the whole market cap right now. Um, what were they buying? Let's take a look. Look at this. The region, which includes China, Hong Kong, Macau, Japan, Mongolia, South Korea, and Taiwan, accounted for about 31% of all cryptocurrency tra transacted in the last 12 months. Now, let's take a look at this. They were buying a lot of these kind of coins. I actually took a screenshot. I can... Uh, show you some better ones. Let's see if I, if they're on here. Yeah. Um, hold on. Yeah, let me show you these real quick. Okay, and then that. Okay, there you go. The currencies included... Basic attention token, Bitcoin Cash, BNB, Bitcoin, BUSD, Crow, Crypt, Cryptarium. All right, so that's, inter that's an interesting one because that one is very low cap and it's also one of Tika's, Tika Tawari's uh, 5 to 5 million. DAI, Ethereum, NGO or GNO. Um, I totally forgot what, what that one is. GUSD, that's Gemini US dollar. Huobi, Huobi US dollar. ICN, I don't know what that is. Leo, Leo said Unum or something. I don't know, but it, it's really high in market cap for some reason. Chainlink. Uh, so Link and Litecoin, I think, are going to be part of it. I think Litecoin is gonna, actually going to be part of the, the basket of currencies. Um, Maker, MCO, yeah. Um, MLN, I don't know. OMG, yes. I think that's going to be part of it. Zero X, yes. Pax, Pax G, Pax Gold. I have some. Now it's one to one backed by gold, Pax G. Now, if you own any Pax G, you, you own actual gold. It's actual gold because it's backed one to one uh, by a certificate and you could actually trade it in for your gold. Um, and I, I trust Pax, Pax Trust, I like it. Um, Zilka, 0X, USDT, wrapped Ethereum. All right, so those are just a few. Um, Anyways, dude, they changed it. I took a screenshot and now they, they changed it. I don't know why they changed it, but they changed it on the website. They're deliberately trying to steer us away from knowing these, but I took a screenshot. Anyways, um, so that was news. Let's go to Twitter. And um, don't worry, uh, XRP and Stellar are still in the runnings. Don't worry about that. Now, let's see what people are saying under here. Um, let's take a look at this. Okay, RSR, Geo, XRP, which I, I love you, bro. Um, I know you watch my channel a lot. I love you. And uh, RSR seems like a reasonable choice. Let's not forget Coinbase spent millions towards this project and Steve Mnuchin appoints Brian Brooks, former Coinbase chief, Coinbase chief legal officer to oversee hold on, that, US banking systems. Um, 
this guy here. Everyone knows it's Algorand. Not really everyone, but let's take a look at this. Now, Algorand connected to the U.S. Treasury. <gasps> Aren't they kind of like in charge right now? Brian Brooks, who just allowed banks to custody crypto, created Stablecoin USDC that is moving to Algorand in 45 days. We put together one of the most important stablecoin projects in the world. Now let's take a look at what he has to say. that is important as the 70 days to 10. So that's where it all started, was realizing that as important as finance is, we had really been rooted in a lot of practices that were somewhere between 30 and 100 years old and tech may help. You know that you and I worked together at Coinbase. Uh, when I was at Coinbase, you were at Circle. We put together one of the most important stablecoin projects in the world. And, you know, that's just another version of the same thing. The 70 days to 10. Love it. He said, we put together one of the most important stablecoin projects in the world. And guess what? He's in charge of the world's currency now. He's, he's director of Comptroller. Um, he created, he worked at Coinbase for two years, the last two years. Uh, I was just so excited for what's coming. I mean, it's just exciting talking about it, you know, and following this trail that a lot of people don't seem to be following. So, Circle migrated USD to Algorand Network, yep, okay, coming in 45 days, and that was like 10 days ago, so um, it's going to be like 35 days from now. So, now this guy said, oh, well, he didn't say Algo, though, so what are you talking about now? He gave us another one. Can't explain every single thing in one t tweet. Take at least five seconds to Google something right here. 48-day countdown, Algorand allow customers to move funds from bank account to card to stablecoins on the Algorand blockchain. And then we can go over here and take a look. Why don't we take a look? The combination of USDC and Circle platform services with the Algorand blockchain will create a foundation for developing a wide range of scalable, secure, and compliant financial applications, said Jeremy Allaire, co-founder of CEO of Circle, in a statement. Um, Yeah, by the way, before PayPal and Venmo come out with uh, their ability to buy crypto, um, they might push the, the market up um, very high. Um, because the, the, the general public, they probably don't want to be able to buy low, you know, be my opinion. The ones who are smart enough and who are in the right place, they, they're the ones who will um, benefit. And just remember, Circle and Coinbase were created by the Federal Reserve. All right. Um, now, this I saw. Major changes are coming to the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Salesforce.com will replace ExxonMobil. Amgen will replace Pfizer. And Honeywell will replace Raytheon Technologies. Now Honeywell, and these are chip, chip technology, um, Honeywell just claimed quantum supremacy over the whole world. They, they literally just, we just saw an article about that like two, two months ago. So that's probably interesting that they're rising to power. Um, Amgen, oh, Amgen, I used to, oh my gosh, I'm an investor, no, I think I have some. Um, Amgen will replace Pfizer. Um, they're doing a lot of new medical practices, guys. Um, there's a lot of new medical technology. All right. So I'm excited. Um, it's going to be in interesting. All right. Now, uh, follow me on Twitter. Um, 10 ways to have, I, I always tweet out motivational videos as well. These were just an amazing Yesterday was a great day for me. I watched motivational videos all day, and it, it just helps. I mean, it really does. It helps you to understand what's going on um, in your life and others. Um, it helps you to to really, you know, um, helps you to really try to think about the positive things in life and um, taking it forward. 
as much as you can just going forward okay getting rid of you need to prune the dead leaves out of your life okay they're just weighing you down and they make you look ugly so follow me on twitter um now dave portnoy dave portnoy this guy he's he's something else but he's really been talking about cryptocurrencies lately a lot and i think this is the, just the start because first we had like elon musk then we had what's her name um harry potter's author i forgot her name she's been talking about now it's dave portnoy's turn now who's going to be next and who's going to be after that who's going to be after that it's going to just keep going and it's going to grow momentum that's what's fun about uh knowing this all right now how much longer do i have um to me this is clearly like chain link the imf is showing us a cube so to me that looks like chain link but i think they're just you know showing us a general like block um, the IMF came out with a new, I, I guess you might not have known that. Marshall from the IMF. When we buy or sell things, the payment is usually processed by a bank or credit card company. Problem number one, the companies often take a cut of the transaction. Two, we have to trust these companies to protect their sensitive data from hackers. Three, most international payments take a long time and are expensive. To solve these problems, we could use a special currency that is secure and based on the science of cryptography, which is a way of protecting information using mathematics. Like, sometimes I wonder if they, you know, I mean, this is like a lot of material that they could totally hide a clue in, you know? They could totally hide a clue in there. So if you see anything, let me know in the comment section. I don't know the equation i don't know the answer to that i i could have almost got there if i paid attention in uh algebra 2 but anyways i i, I just paused it this in the middle special type of currency is called a cryptocurrency and only exists in computer networks when you send someone the special currency the money goes directly to them removing the middleman and at the same time the transaction is broadcast to the entire network and recorded in a permanent way, which means it's almost impossible to fool the system. Costs of making payments are lower, transactions are faster, especially across countries, and even those people around the globe who don't have bank accounts can buy or sell goods and participate in the global economy. However, there are some risks. The transactions in most cryptocurrencies are anonymous. Some cryptocurrencies can even be untraceable. This can make it easier for the bad guys to make payments without being noticed. If you lose your password, you could lose all your money. At the moment, cryptocurrencies are highly volatile. They can't process large amounts of transactions quickly yet, and they're not even widely accepted. But if we can counter the risks, then this new technology or some variation of it can completely change the way we sell, buy, save, invest, and pay our bills. And who knows, this could be the next step in the evolution of money. <laughs> yep that's what's happening guys so um yeah barry silbert yeah he's the owner of uh digital currency group okay so and now look guys stellar and ripple and xrp i mean um are are being like totally laughed at and downgraded by everyone in the Ethereum community. <sighs> I think this whole DeFi craze right now is actually exposing a lot of um, the greediness in the in the space. I mean, I've seen a lot of crazy people make a lot of money, you know, in the last few uh, weeks. And I mean, crazy, like just <laughs> possessed. So, anyways, and. Um, anyways guys let me show you my picks for the week uh two i have two picks for trading all right now obviously almost maybe maybe it wasn't obvious but first one is going to be 
Uh, Algo. That's my pick for this week. See what happens. I, I bought some. And um, let's take a look. It's on Coinbase. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now look at that. I, I don't know. Um, it could come down, but I don't think it'll stay down. It could come down to the 50-day uh, moving average. Now it's just hitting off the t top of the 20. Um, but look how many times it's hit. It just keeps hitting and going, and then it really isn't being dragged down by the market as much, but look at the volume profile. That's what I like. Look at all that volume coming in. Um, it really wants to go up now. I could I could be wrong, So, but um, if it does come back down, I, I bought today, but I don't see it coming back down from there. It looks pretty good. Looks like a good buy right now. I mean, just literally looks like a good buy right now. Um, it could, I mean, the thing is that it's getting a lot of positive attention. A lot of positive attention. Look at, when you see the volume profile like that, when you see like the green candles going up and the price is going up, it's a really good thing. And then the cool thing is that people are dumping, but the volume's going down. And then the volume goes up again when the price goes up. That's a good sign. Um, We've been looking for things like this in the bear market and it's impossible because everyone's selling. It's the opposite. Now, this is when everyone's buying, especially a coin like Algo. Now, the next one is gonna be TRX, Tron. I have a feeling about Tron. I have a feeling something's gonna happen soon. Now, they're gonna be able to, they have DeFi too, if you guys didn't know that. Um, I did a coin uh, two weeks ago, CNS. Now. It's dropped a lot, but I mean, you could have made money, you know, it did go all the way up and then, but it's come down since then. And I think that's going to be a hot one. Let's see. Okay. So anyways, let's go take a look at Tron. All right. Cause you really do want to own the freeway, you know, not just the car. That's uh, that's, that's crypto poppy talking to you <laughs> through me. <laughs> see, uh, where's Binance? There we go. Okay, now take a look at that. Same thing. Volume, red volume's only going down from here. While every time, well, yeah, there's a lot of up. A lot of people are buying up. Um, it's at, look at that resistance. You know, I mean, look at that support. Look at that. Right here, right here. And then let's strike right at support. So, it could still come down. It's it's almost hit the 50-day um, moving average, the orange line. And if it struggles in between the orange and the red, um, that's what it that's what will happen. But I don't think it's gonna. It's it's in a falling wedge too. And that's you know this would be a nice time, in my opinion. You know I could be wrong. I've been wrong, and I'm trying to improve my, you know how I do TA. But a falling wedge looks like this and they typically are bullish because they'll spring bullish out of it out of the for, uh, formation right. this is a falling wedge basically so yeah anyways guys it's on support and it's in a falling wedge and the volume goes up when people buy and the volume goes down when people sell what does that mean it's good. It's had a good buy. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching my channel. I love you. Please subscribe. Please download the Brave browser and make sure you hit the notification bell if you subscribe. And please give me, I want to get a goal of like, uh, I want like a thousand thumbs ups or something. I want a thousand thumbs ups. No, I want 500. I'm not that popular. I'm not that popular. Give me 500 thumbs ups. All right, guys, please. That's my goal. I love you. Be good people. Pray, pray for everyone in the world right now, okay? Your family, our president, um, Nancy Pelosi, um, everyone, everyone, your friends, your, your enemies. Try not to have enemies, okay? Let go of any resentments and you will be free. All right, I love you. Bye. <laughs> have a good one.